Section 7.6 is natural logarithms. I can evaluate and simplify natural logarithmic expressions, and I can solve equations using natural logarithms. Those are our learning targets and what we're shooting for here in this section. Big ideas are the function y equals e raised to the x power and y equals ln of x are inverse functions. If a equals e raised to the b power, then b equals ln of a. The exponential function y equals b to the x power and the logarithmic function y equals log base b of x are inverse functions. The function y equals e to the x has an inverse and we call that the natural logarithmic function. And if you look at page, uh, the take note on page 478, it talks about that. It says, if y equals e to the x power, then x equals log base e of y, which is ln of y. The natural logarithmic function is the inverse of y, sorry, x equals ln of y. So we can write it as y equals ln of x. A uh, big thing here, guys, y equals e to the x power. When we switch that over to logarithmic form, we have log base e of y equals x. Remember, our logarithms always equal our exponents. This ln of e right here, we rewrite as ln. That is our natural logarithm, ln, and it's always base e. So again, we have two common logarithms. We have our common log, which is log with the 10 here that we don't have to put, and natural log, which is log base e that we don't have to put. So if you have ln, it's log base e. If you have log without a base, it's 10. They also have a picture on page 478 of the graph of y equals e to the x power, that exponential, and uh, the natural logarithm, y equals ln of x. Example 1 is simplifying natural logarithms. We're going to do a lot of this the exact same way as we did in section 7.5. The only difference is instead of having log base some random number, we have log base e, which is ln. But our rules apply the same way. So here I can take this 2 as an exponent. ln of 15 squared minus ln of 75. That's our first step whenever we try and write as a single logarithm. Now this division right here, sorry this subtraction, we're going to write as division. ln of 15 squared divided by 75. We can take that 15 squared as 225 divided by 75 and we're just going to get ln of 3. One single natural logarithm. Again, our properties work the same way here as they did yesterday. Go ahead and try these. What is each expression written as a single logarithm? Again, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of any exponents. ln of 7 plus ln 5 squared is 25. Now, this plus right here means I'm going to multiply when I put them together as 1. ln of 7 times 25, which gives me ln of 175. Second one here, I'm going to swing my coefficients as exponents. And when we do that, we have to be careful here. Since that 2 is with this whole factor, it has to stay with the whole factor. I can take and distribute that. Whenever I take a product to a power, I take both pieces to the exponent. I distribute it. So 2 squared x squared ln of x, sorry I forgot my 3's here, x cubed, when I swung that 3 I forgot to actually write it there guys. Remember that 3 goes forward as the next point becomes x cubed, just like my 2 here became a squared. 
minus ln of 4x squared. I have subtraction here, which means when I rewrite it as one logarithm, I write it as division. x cubed divided by 4x squared. Last step is just to simplify. I have dividing powers with the same base right here. So what I can do is I can subtract my exponents. I'm going to get ln of 1x over 4. Third one here. Same idea. First I'm going to swing my exponents. This time I promise I'll actually write them. Plus ln y squared plus ln of 5. Now I'm going to rewrite this as one logarithm by taking ln and getting rid of all my pluses by multiplying my of parts, my logarithms. I'm going to take x cubed times y squared times 5, and I'm just going to put the 5 first. It's not super important, um, but it does usually go number first. We usually put that as a coefficient. And I'm going to put that in parentheses, maybe. There we go. ln of 5x cubed y squared. And again, I put that in parentheses just to show that all, that all goes together. Example two here is solving natural logarithmic equations. Again, very similar to what we did yesterday. We have to get this by itself. Anytime we have a variable inside a logarithm, we have to switch to exponential form. Here, remember, our base is e. So we have e to the fourth power equals x minus 3 squared. To get rid of the square, we take a square root of both sides. And when we take the square root, we've got to do the plus or minus. Uh, also, we remember that a square root is the same as raising it to the one-half power, which means power to a power, we multiply exponents, we get 4 over 2, or e squared. So we can simplify that as well to e squared equals x minus 3. To get rid of a minus 3, we add 3 to both sides. So 3 plus or minus e squared equals x. Now when you type this in your calculator, we take 3 plus second ln key, remember, 2 gives me a value of approximately 10.389 for my plus. For my minus, I take 3 minus second ln key, 2, and I get approximately negative 4.389. We're going to want to check these answers. Always check your answers with logarithms because, again, our domain is restricted with logarithms. So we always want to double check and just make sure. Big thing here to remember when we're checking this is that this is squared, not the logarithm itself. So you're going to want to do that part first and then plug it into your ln on your calculator or put it in an extra set of parentheses. So just be careful there. ln of... 10.389 minus 3 squared, again, either an extra set of parentheses or do this part first, square it, and then find your ln. Uh, if you would try this, please, in your calculators, that'd be great. I want to make sure everybody gets to where they should be here. We should get approximately 3.999984. Four eight one six, which is really close to 4. So that answer works. Same thing here when you plug in the negative 1. We want ln of, remember in parentheses, negative 4.389 minus 3 because we square that first and then put it in the logarithm. So um, I'm going to do it by itself first. 
So I'm taking negative 4.389 minus 3. Then I'm going to square that answer just by pressing the square key after I pressed enter. It gives me positive 54. 54.597321. When I take ln of that, I can do ln. Second negative key pulls up my last answer. And this gives me approximately 3.9999848161 once again. Uh, which is really close to 4, which means both of these answers are going to work. That will not always be the case, so be careful there. Okay, go ahead and try it. We have a variable in our logarithm, and the only way we can solve that is, is if we switch to exponential form. So I'm going to take my base, which is e, to the second power, equals x. Remember, any time I have ln, my base is e. Every single time when I have ln, I have a base of e. This you can type in your calculator. Second ln gives you your e raised to the second power, and we get approximately 7.389. Okay, both answers there would be great. Next one, same idea here. I have a variable inside my logarithm. So to get rid of it, I take e to the fourth power equals 3x plus 5 squared. To get rid of the square, I take the square root. Remember, when you take the square root, it's plus or minus e. Again, this is square root, which means we can divide by 2 and get e to the second power, and that's from last chapter when we simplified radicals, 3x plus 5. To solve for x, we subtract 5. Then divide by 3, and divide the whole thing by 3. So right now we have x equals exactly negative 5 plus or minus e squared over 3, which is going to be approximately, when you type this in your calculator, parentheses in the numerator, negative 5 plus second ln key gives you that e squared. Close your parentheses, then divide by 3. We get approximately 0.796 for the positive. Same idea here, just switch it to the negative and we get negative 4.12, uh, 130, 1296, so 130. Double check both of those to make sure they work. So we're going to take and we're going to plug them back in. 3 times 0.796 plus 5, square it, gives me 54.58, ln of second answer, gives me 3.9997, so that one works. Same idea here with the negative 4.130. I'm going to take that times 3, add 5. Square it. Take ln of it, ln second answer, and I get 4.00025547 which again is very close to 4, so we're going to say that that answer works as well. So both of those two will work. Last one here, I'm going to combine first before we solve. ln, multiply, whenever I have plus to put them as one logarithm, I take 2x times 3, which gives me ln of 6x equals 2. e to the second power, equals 6x. To get rid of the variable in my logarithm, I switch to exponential. Divide by 6. Second, ln 2 divided by 6 gives me 1.232. And when you plug that in, it's going to work.